and again and it seems that I talked for like 10 minutes without any kind of audio <laughs> um, sorry okay so I was saying welcome to the stream welcome to battle rise uh, to be to, to follow the stream while I was offline and um, I was saying that it was pretty cool that they added the uh, packs in the shop but I will go over that again as soon as I am you know uh, back in the in the shop um, I was say that I will start uh, the event with that team and eventually I can upgrade one or two green lanterns to gear 11 so I will see as soon as we as we go So it seems that they are forgetting that we still have Green Lantern Corps. So they are, uh, you know, citing uh, Sinestro, Starfires, Red, and Larfreeze. And so let's go ahead. So maybe this is an hint that they will add blue lanterns or maybe uh, black hand or other lanterns to the game and welcome to the stream Jess. thank you for being here um, sorry for the initial um, trouble with the microphone uh, i was setting this up yesterday for uh, mixer and it just uh, was left like this So first round, it's uh, you know the usual, uh, nothing to bother here. And hi, Ventus One, welcome to the stream. I was saying before uh, that in the shop they introduced the nope this. Uh, they uh, there's still the gems of the predator here pack that you can buy with money, and there's the stars of fire packs, but they chose to give us or maybe the returning player a way to gather some shards so if you missed your Jessica Cruz PvP day or uh, her um, hero challenge maybe you can topple off uh, your L2, L3 or L4 or even legendary one uh, by buying these packs these packs are not the best um, return for gems in the game but they are pretty cool consider that usually one 100 pack it's 8k so 50 shards uh, it's usually 4k uh, this is 50 to 17 for nearly half of that so it's a pretty sweet deal not one of the best and both Arcus and Al Jordan and Sinestro are easy farmable uh, but to me it's cool because maybe on my alt account uh, I need just those 60 shards of Al Jordan for L2 and being able to purge 10, debuff, 10 buffs on Larfreeze if he is in the hero challenge, you know, the, the Atrocitus one or maybe get into the death immunity on issue challenge on Arcus for L2 or maybe having your strong Jessica Cruz that can help you uh, with your Lobo and Grandi and Doomsday racing up uh, that, that's useful so they did good here and uh, I don't even want to spend time on this uh, I'm boycotting this I don't care I will not buy I, I will end up where I will end up I don't care and um, the red dude uh, deal in the shop it's good uh, it's one of the few times he is in the shop if you compare it it's not that good uh, if you compare it to um, an 8k uh, deal uh, is not pretty good because you know uh, you have the chance to buy 100 shards for 8k and to get to 100 shards you have to buy actually uh, four of these um, which is to, oh, sorry seven of this um, so seven of this is way more than 8k so I don't know I would rather press up on this and my red dude uh, is just uh, too low on the L4 even though I really want his L4 uh, I will spend like 10,000 gems for this if I'm optimistic So let's go to the event. 
<coughs> seems like the rewards are still the same unguaranteed stuffs or maybe there was nothing here that was guaranteed so i suppose the the very first waves i could i can just go with the the OE here uh maybe i can use my let me check uh, if there was any kind of guaranteed rewards here um nope nope so there is no guaranteed reward yet so maybe uh for the very first uh waves we can go with something like uh, uh jessica cruz and uh yellow hunter sinestro because of those aoe and maybe even atrocitus but not in a leadership position because he will just mess up with us so jess is lead sinestro and here so so many pretty colorful rings with green grasp <laughs> okay Uh, <laughs> so they are keeping this cool uh, it's every other uh, mission right now uh, so I don't know if that's enough uh, I what I what I really miss from um, Marvel Strike Force was this um, discontinuous uh, presence of cutscenes and stuffs so uh, that was pretty cool in that game it was one of the very few things that was pretty cool uh, but again let's see if uh, I'm going back to the <coughs> the map just to check if there's something in there so there's already Necron in here and I suppose it's a fitting opponent uh, for a lantern themed uh, event in fact he is the only uh, Black Lantern that we have here so he has a lot of health It seems it seems it's way higher than uh, than the one in uh, in the Lord of the Undead event. But Stars of Fire is gear eleven, so there should not be a problem. And it does no damage at all, like uh, he used to in uh, Lord of the Undead. Land of the Unliving, or Lord of the Undead. So again, let's go back to map. I don't know where the the other rewards start. So there's other reward, and that's level one. It's everything. Yeah, L three, L three. Okay. Let's hope that the rings are guaranteed or something. I'm pretty sure they are not. Hi, Crimson Bands. Welcome to the stream. So, as I said, uh, it's pretty cool that Necron is here. Uh, is a worthy opponent for a Lantern event. So, the mission is hopeless. <laughs> Develop <Divided> love. <laughs> okay, sure, Necron. You are just the usual baddie. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm just uh, right now getting on par on the on the comics so i've just read the very first issues of al jordan and green lantern corps so sinestro is there a big uh, presence uh, the rebirth cycle I'm, I'm talking about so i suppose i can just go away with here So Stars of Fire just melted down half of the shield from uh, Necron. Uh, two tap <laughs> and Necron is gone. So I'm, uh, today I'm running this event 
uh, and I will see after that, uh, depending on what you two guys want. I will not uh, go long because I have uh, stuff to do in the afternoon, real life with parents and so on. Family more than parents, uh, but it will be nice. And we got nothing uh, out of that. So the shards, it's really uh, a real deal here. Uh, we got enough for already close to L2 and when this one will be L2 and uh, yeah I got him finally to gear 10 so just uh, let's go over it so this is still a low power team I suppose we can just <laughs> yeah but on, to be honest his first skill does a lot of damage um, but he never proxies rest uh, and I get to, to proc it more with um, with Atrocitus. <laughs> Again, um, my two gear 11 are Star Sapphire and Atrocitus. The other one are gear 10. And uh, to be honest, I could even start removing uh, Sinestro because its damage is pathetic right now. Uh, is gear 7. So... As you can see, 1k damage. At least that there's Star Sapphire that's melting, guys. So I suppose I will go for an AoE on... Uh, yeah, an AoE from uh, Hadrogidus on the last node from now on. So we should start um, with um, someone else on uh, leadership. So we got some L3, obviously the less interesting one. Uh, tier T, uh, so, uh, type three material, sorry. And uh, we have to buy some energy here because it will cause like uh, half a kidney to go into this. Let's see if there's energy here. No, it's PVP. So let's buy one and two. Um, a reasonable uh, player should not go all out on the first day of this event uh, because you are just wasting gems where you can just basically um, use them uh, in the next days. So you can just delay your event and uh, do it day by day instead of going nuts on the first day. Lord of New Living, we will rip you to shreds and take your old updates. So, Lord Freeze is still in character every challenge. So the, the cool thing between um, Atrocitus leadership and, uh, and Al Jordan is that uh, because Atrocitus will make everyone start um, with uh, shields, it will be able to just uh, call assist on turn one, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I think that uh, Atrocitus, uh, Larfris can just uh, solo this event. I will probably have to, you know, uh, Larfreeze steal the word, as Paul said. Maybe next round we can do something like that. Yeah, Larfreeze is crazy good, and he, he stacks permanent intelligence up uh, for every dead enemy. So the longer the waves, the higher the damage. And he is gear 11. So let's go over. We're still getting some orbs here. Um, and we have two nodes to go. Uh, they are still level 55. So as a tribute to Paul, let's go like this. And see how much damage they do. The only uh, reasonable horror here uh is the the grid hunter if they are 
if they are not uh, it will be easy and the fact the the horrible thing about his first skill is that he just um, he just steals up for a fixed damage as you can see is always 2362 uh, and it doesn't care of how much uh, because it's based on its max health uh, So, as you can see, he is not something like Adrian, where he can go on and uh, heal up. I think it, it will scale with stamina sap, so Ivy uh, will be good. Uh, but to be honest, uh, it, it's just lackluster if compared with uh, Adrian. So, I don't think that you ever want his uh, first point. So let's see how much the first skill uh, just did uh, 400k damage and the last one will do 300 260 so uh, it's better just to ignore uh, the last skill when you have stacked enough intelligence up because it will all increase the damage to a degree so let's go back to the map and see where we are to we are to the last uh, first to last and uh, yeah let's go over it and um, it's 21k so the increase in damage the increase in power level is pretty high uh, I will continue going with large freeze I don't know if it's doable uh, but I will try no cutscene here so that's something yeah lackluster so we steal some turn meter and get some intelligence up. As I said, I fear uh, that I will uh, I will not be on par uh, because of his health. As you can see, they start pounding on me and it's harsh. Especially the blue one. So let's kill the blue one first. Because who shoot how much damage he did that green? So I think he will die. You sure he will die? So you cannot solo it with a lot phrase. Let's go over it with a proper team. As I said, the issue with Lark Freeze is that his health... Sorry, let's go over it. Um, his health, his healing is based on his health, which is just 23 Ks and uh, something. So 23 K 620. And that's why this skill is horrible, because he will drain 10% of his health healing up. Uh, sorry, this, this one. Uh, so it's a 40% chance to double that gain, which means that we will gain 4k. So I will settle up. The only interesting thing here is that uh, it will proc Starfire twice. Uh, but to be honest, I don't think it's worth. If you can get him to L3 or L4, just go over uh, these three. Let's say uh, third is one, the first then uh, you get the fourth then you get the fifth and then you get the second and that's it so i suppose i will not have any issue uh, with my proper team hi mayor welcome to the stream i just tried to solo uh, one node the first to last uh with uh, lar freeze and he failed so lar freeze cannot solo this event and if he can't, I don't think that Arkis can. I think you can two man uh, with gear 11 uh, Al Jordan and gear 11 uh, Larfries.
as I said, when you get to a point where a lot freeze has a lot of stacks, just ignore the third uh, skill and just go all out on the first one. So pretty easy with a full team. We even got one death ring. So last node, uh, let's see which uh, uh, which rings are. So it's always the same, but it's just gear three stuff. And uh, let's go over it. 180 shards. Yep, let's go. No, I will not. I hate people skipping cutscenes. So, it seems that Necron uh, got a hold of Atrocitus and I suppose even Sinestro and Larfreeze up to this point. Oh, Yellow Lantern. So it seems we have one uh, White Lantern Sinestro here on our side. I suppose that if you remember the previous cutscenes, uh, there were uh, there was this uh, um, you know pain on Atrocitus, Larfreeze, and Sinestro. And Sinestro. So I suppose that they were let's say mind controlled here. So I suppose these two blues destroy enemy buffs. I critical chance. Al Jordan, <laughs> I don't know why I clicked, and brutally chance debuffs. So I suppose that they will go nuts here uh, on damage. These two blue are probably pretty scary. Yeah, they, they do a lot of damage. And Al Jordan, as usual, has a lot of health. So I need to kill nothing never mind i was saying i need to kill the the red the the green before al jordan but it seems that uh, it's pointless so we have uh, as i supposed a mind controlled lar freeze and a mind control atrocitus uh we want to kill atrocitus as soon as possible um <coughs> we have to kill atrocitus as soon as possible because uh, if he has the legendary point he will just rest up guys and i suppose this is a, a taunter Yep, so let's kill Atrocitus here. Let's add Atrocitus, okay. He rests himself. He can he stole all our buffs here. And so I suppose that I want uh, Jessica Cruz to start punching on Lar Freeze. I can even try and kill Lar Freeze here. While Al Jordan and Atrocitus will keep uh, pounding on Atrocitus. No one is enraged here. So, as I said, let's buff up because I'm scared that they will kill Al Jordan eventually. As long as they don't go on Al Jordan, I'm fine. And so, they, there's the uh, <laughs> I don't like Jessica Cruz. Uh, she's cool, but I prefer Al Jordan every day of the week. So, as I said, this is a Greed Hunter. We have to kill him as soon as possible. Al Jordan again. These two, the, the last one, are AoE guys. Uh, so we want to kill the blue first, because Al Jordan will die eventually. And then we kill the other one. But I think that uh, right now Al Jordan will do all the messy work. So let's keep buffing here. And in the last node we have uh, Brutal Attack buffs, Brutal Turn Delays and Necron, Lord of the Undead. So let's kill those guys first. And maybe... No, I don't want to put it on auto, so... But it seems that Necron has a lot of health. Fine, you remember, a couple of turns ago, Jessica was just one shot in Necron. So we have our four lanterns against Necron.
I could have called the assist from Jessica here, but I didn't want to, you know, delay it. Because we all know that we want to see Larfrey is killing Necron. So this is it. <laughs> yeah, you're a cosmic certainty. So, uh, I suppose both, uh, but he's a bleeder. If it's the same as uh, in the previous mode, he's a bleeder. Uh, so, I think that's better to just go with, uh, with what you can. The call us is the best thing that you can have. So, um... Let's see how many shards we are. We are 90, 50, 97 over 130. That means that, uh, let me think, it's uh, 130. I need a calculator because it's just, it's just to uh, assess and just get cruise. They stack up, yep, they do. And Jessica Cruz can be useful if you just lose someone because the Jessica Cruz will benefit from the the issue with Jessica Cruz and as you as you've seen there are so many uh, blue guys and they hit hard uh, so if you bring Jessica Cruz and maybe Arkis or someone else it may end up being difficult for you so let's say I have this uh, 1597 shards and I want him to be L4, uh, so I need 47 more uh, to get to L4. Uh, no, I way more. I'm way over. Um, I have enough for L4, and um, I need 263 for the next one. So I will link this one if you need uh, stuff. This is uh, one tool that I wrote up for my alliance uh, where you go there uh, if you need it. Uh, th that's the official, unofficial, <laughs> uh, uh, so it sounds cacophonic. Uh, it's uh, the official site for our alliance. Uh, and there are two tools there. The first one is the shard calculator that I linked. And if you say how many shards you have on one current character, where you are, let's say rank 2, rank 3, rank 4, and where you want to get it, uh, it will say how many um, shards you need. For example, I said I'm L1 and um, I have 597 shards, and it says, okay, you have gathered a total of 837 shards, and you need you have 47 more than I decided that was L4 and I can reach the maximum L4 and I will be 260, uh, 263 away from the next one which is L5 so if it may be of any help to you uh, is the shard calculator I, I, said, I think it's one here that it's out but again uh, is our alliance web page we are uh, even though I advertised it, uh, it I don't know how much it's used so uh, we managed to complete the event I don't know if I want to repeat the last node uh, to see how much because you cannot uh, speed force this you have to bottle this every time and it's just that I don't want to go L5 over Sinestro. Uh, L4 is pretty cool for me. And uh, here. And uh, I think that there are... Um, all his legendary points are pretty good. Uh, but the weaker one uh, is this one. Because it's relying on people getting debuffs. So I'd rather <laughs> get the heal here. And be done with that. Uh, the the other three points are sweet. The seventy percent chance to revive and the purge if someone is them. Yeah, you can repeat the nodes. Yep, you should. Uh, let's say I don't want to go over there, right? So let's 
I don't want to spend the energy. So let's battle this 5-1 here. And because it's the one that I want to lose shares. And uh, let's go over this. You can battle it as much as you want. Uh, the shards are not guaranteed because it's only the first round that's guaranteed but if you run the highest that you can run uh, you will be able to get shards and whatever and blah 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 you can repeat those shards as you can see we have done this uh, and it was no guaranteed reward so it's like the normal heroics when you have uh, eight something you get something out of the first run and I will run as usual so let's waste this okay so let's do this because you know me right you are making me waste some energy here so uh, it's probably resetting daily because there is no reward here as you can see so uh, tomorrow when i will be on stream yeah when i will be on stream tomorrow i will uh see if this is again uh shard based because it may be daily uh the deathstroke one you could repeat it yeah the deathstroke one you could repeat uh this one uh it seems that you have to repeat it daily or you couldn't at all it's just the reward that are not worthwhile going for because they are not guaranteed i'd rather spend my gems um and to be honest i think i got like um before i started i was like just l1 of this and i ended up l4 so they are so many shares um i i like the fact that they are not um gating the event because it's not really an end game event because i was able to uh do it with uh, a good team but it's basically three gear 11 and al jordan and al jordan is good because everyone he calls for an assist is huge larfreeze is great i think that um larfreeze has made this event trivial because if i go like this and everyone else here, Jessica Cruz or Arcus or even Wild Hunter Sinestro, uh, it wouldn't have been so easy. Uh, but again, uh, we will. I will be tomorrow streaming at the usual time. Uh, this is not a goodbye. I'm just, uh, you know, elaborating. Um, I will be uh, streaming tomorrow here at the usual time, uh, and I will see if the event is repeatable tomorrow and if there are shards here so if there are shards uh, it's worthwhile to repeat maybe you need so few of them to get to the next level uh, which which was here the reward so let's go over this then let's say tomorrow uh, as i said i will stream and i will let you know thank you those shards are sweet and uh, okay so this should be it uh if you if you want to see anything uh pvp or i i'm just woke up like a couple of hours ago and i still have to do this so if you want me to uh, go over this uh i can go my red alert or i just can call it quit and uh, continue tomorrow um as i said tomorrow will be the usual stream um no, I don't. I am boycotting that. I don't want to feed them this stupid uh, thing. Because, it's, to be honest, uh, I think that I have already L1 Larfreeze here, as you can see. So, I will probably end up to be into top 800, which is what I want to be. Um, top 800 to get the last remaining shards, 500, that I need for L4 so let's say i didn't buy the the show and i'm right now in the top 40 i was 30 if you remember before the whole siege energy is available to everyone and um, this is a huge horrible thing 
And to be honest, even if I drop, let's say, uh, 500 spots, I will still end up being into the rank 600. So I don't care. And uh, you can just, instead of buying the energy, just skip it. And uh, at the end, because when they first introduced the energy, I didn't want to, to go over this because it it's like something that makes me snowball into anger but this is a poor marketing choice uh, because everyone with a grain of salt in their head will never buy those because let's say they they deployed this on uh, 13 days before the end of the event so if you buy this every day for 13 days uh, you just spent 28 Okay, okay. So I will mark it out in the chat. So it's thirty days per two k. Twenty six k gems, right? If you just ignore this, and you will probably be able to maintain your rank, or just I've showed that I am dropping, but not that much. So let's say you lose one hundred uh, points in your ranks, right? due to this you end up like getting in uh, from rank 50 where i am to rank let's say 200 i've lost 150 okay let's see i will lose 100 shards okay so losing 100 shards would cost me whenever they will introduce him back in the shop 8k so let's say you don't buy the gems the the energy thingy at all and you just wait the next time or that he is in the shop and you buy three packs of him so you spend 24k uh, 8k for three and you got 300 shards wherever you are to gain 300 shards you have to drop so much to lose 300 shards I have to drop from rank 50, where I am right now, to rank 300. So it's uh, a payout of 350. So I have to drop here to where? Rank rank 70K, 7K and 500? Who cares? I will never drop that low. I can play blind or I can even stop playing right now until the end of the month and I will never get there. Because unless you are a complete disaster in this game, and then you are just like a, a siege recruit, it's not worthwhile. And the legendary essence is cool, uh, but to be honest, um, 10 hundred uh, legendary essence, so 10 hundred K legendary essence uh, is worth uh, 4.3 K. So if you only care about the legendary essence, uh, you can just buy, let's say you drop from rank 600 to this dumpster 1250, okay? So you've lost like uh, 400 uh, legendary gems, legendary essence, just buy it with the gems from the Lord of the Undead, Lord, Land of the Unliving, Lord of the Undead event. It's cheaper to do that. It's the usual scam when they will, um, you know, they will cater uh, to the to the the daddy's son that say, "Oh, daddy, daddy, I want this energy. Please buy me 100 gems more." Uh, and that's that's the whole point. And they were smart because they introduced this after the. Uh, Larfrey's event, the Larfrey's pack, this one for Larfrey's was over because if they did that and they just uh, put the average siege energy here while uh, Larfrey's was in the shop, no one would have bought that. Everyone would have bought the Larfrey's pack and be done with this. Because as I said, uh, you'd better spend your gems elsewhere than in this horrible priced pack i could have i could have gone with them 
if this would have cost 500 gems. 500! And it's way more than I want to pay. Because in the end, 500 over... Uh, everyone would have bought that. And 500 over 13 days would have been like 6k gems. And 6k gems, it's 100 shards. So the right price for this, and everyone would have bought that, was 500 gems. They went to cutter all the big mega whales or whatever. Because everyone, as I said, everyone with a grain of salt in the red, they will never ever buy this. You are better buying the Star, Saf Star Sapphire uh, equivalent pack here. The 8K one. Because eventually, Larfreeze will be back in the shop, at least with a pack like this. Yeah, the, it's horrible. It's it's the worst thing that happened to the best event up to now. Uh, and to be honest, it's just crazy. Uh, it's just that it's like... Um, I, I think it's like a move where they say, okay, if you are stupid enough, you will give us money. That's it. And again, I'm just skipping this. Uh, maybe... If I am in the last day and I am, let's say, I am uh, from rank 80 and I can go up to rank 20 for some strange reason. Because let's see, let's say, as you can see, this is pretty flat, right? So maybe I drop and I will end up, let, let's say, is the, the last days, um, is the last days of the, of the event. And this is the situation here. And it's like 30 minutes before the reset, right? I am uh, 100 point, li less than 100. I am uh, 140 points, 44 for to be precise, from um, rank 20. So buying that energy, the 2K energy, maybe will help me go through a threshold where 2k are worth more than 50 shards so as i said here if i am here and i want to go for that uh, rank 20 2k even 4k for those 50 shards is worth it but it has to be the last day because if you start doing this every day until the end of the event you will be drained by the energy until the very end and to be honest, my alt account, which is gear 5, is uh, getting this rank 1500. I will show this. Uh, let me open it uh, while I talk. Um, yeah, it's okay. But to be honest, if you are needing that legendary essence, um, it means that you have already your heroes at usable level. So, to be honest, there's no such a difference, such a huge difference between L4 and L5 or L3 and L4 for some heroes. If I get to all that legendary essence, I will not be stupid and just upgrade everyone to L4 or L5. Uh, to be honest, guys, like, you know, I always do this example. Cyborg, L3 is way more than he needs because you will never use this one, to be honest. You will just triangulating and charge cannon, so save it. I, if you can see, I don't even have upgraded it. So, uh, Wally West, you don't need L4 for him. Again, I can go over and over uh, with so many different characters. There are so many characters that don't need even L4. Uh, so, to me, it's like... <coughs> to me, it's like some some kind of win more condition uh where they are trying to cutter on the greedy guys and uh, again if my alt account which will be brought on screen uh in gear 5 and playing on auto because i don't even bother uh, it's ranked so i <laughs> yeah uh it's okay uh you will get enough uh, for Atrocitus and uh, DS. I misclicked and my 
brain, uh, let's say Gwen nuts on him. I misclicked the rank up here and went for L4. I didn't want him L4, even though I am appreciating it. Uh, so I got him L4 and yeah, that's it. So uh, you just, just have to wait because again, this is my alt account. Uh, let me bring on screen. So this is my alt account. And as you can see, my alt account is ranked. I didn't even play for today. My alt account is 18k, right? So this horrible account, which is way worse than any of you, will get L1. And to be honest, I think I, will, I can get to the 300 shards. It's not worth to me. But again, as you can see, this is an horrible account. I'm ranked 800. And why I said that's an horrible account? Because it's in gear 5. 5, guys. 5. This is... This is my account here. So... This is my... This is my account. This is horrible. The best hero that I have is just John Constantine and he is gear 5. So it's just a matter on how you are able to play the game, choosing the correct character over and over and just gearing them. And when you get to that point, uh, if you can see here, I'm not kidding. Uh, this account with just those heroes, it's ranked uh, 1,600 trophies, ranked 90k, with gear 5 in normal PvP arena and uh, the Siege arena it's ranked 80k so the question here is uh, uh, how can you reach 3 3H, 300 shards. Um, I can reach 300 shards because I'm 80k right now and um, you can just grind it out until you are able to play properly because if you go over here I'm even winning. I don't know why these guys this level 78 78 guy <laughs> lost against me. I don't know why. What the hell? <laughs> 64 and he loses so uh, th this account is winning way more uh, than me than my main account and as you can see the the way to do this is just play smartly and find the fight that you can win on the boards ignore the rest just go over there because if you want if you go for the board clears uh, you will just lose so much in the process uh, That's not worth it. And as I said, this is the team and I play it on auto so you, you don't care. I don't have time to play two accounts. So I will just go over it uh, I cannot even complete the atrocitus event. I don't know where I am with the lantern. Uh, I think I am like just started I was going over it while having breakfast this morning so i go there play auto and let them do the the stuff here i don't care as i, as I said uh the increase in damage from atrocitus leadership the call assist from the atrocitus 2 uh is way more than enough uh for me to you know snowball over this event and i'm not playing at all so I was 8k before and I should be like, let's go over it. And I'm, I'm not even bothering using other heroes here. I can use Constantine, I can use Red Robin and gain more out of this. Uh, but again, I wanted just to, and I don't complete neither the Heroic 30 nor uh, the other two legendary. The only one that I usually complete every other day is the PvP one, because as I said, I don't bother playing. 
uh, I'm just showing that by playing blindly, I'm six. I gained 2k position, so I can end up in rank 15 here. As you can see, rank 15 or even rank 20, 20k and 500. So you just you just go over there. It's a nice event. Uh, yeah, you should. Uh, the best thing to do in this event is check the battles, check your opponents, and see what you can do here. Can you win this one without losing anyone? If the answer is yes, just go over it. If the answer is, I don't know, maybe... If you are losing someone, you just skip it, because it's way worse. So losing a hero here, I cannot play because, you know, uh, I don't have the energy. I will go uh, over over here. So, no, uh, this is different. I will explain in a second. So, uh, let's let take my main here for a second. So, um, the reasoning here is that, let's go over this team. If I play against um, Danny Bass, okay what's the reason here um if i go with a team what, what's the best team to go over this one you want that shot iron gun you want uh red robin to kill wonder girl and then you want probably someone to kill the two reds and uh, clayface so if you check your buffed heroes you would rather say, okay, let's go with the Larfreeze, sure, and maybe you go with uh, Stars of Fire to kill Larfree, to kill uh, uh, Clayface. But then there's an issue that if you fail at killing Wonder Girl because she races up from uh, Atrocitus leadership, uh, you will get destroyed. And losing a single star in this format is so punishing that you rather say, okay, if I go over this, uh, I will spend um, five energy to gain how much? I'm gaining like uh, 20? No, it's 18 because I'm not using one of the heroes. So it's 12 plus 6. But you risk losing 5 points, so you are spending 5 energy here, uh, losing 1 star, getting to 2 star, to get 5 energy for 9 plus 6, which is 13, for 15, which is horrible. Because you are just gaining 3 points per energy. Then you'd rather, so let's keep in mind, yeah, you risk to play and lose, that's right. That's right. Uh, so the plan here is that you can choose to go over five energy for um, 18 points. Okay. Or maybe I can go five energy. Let's say I go like this. This is safer. Okay. Because if Wonder Girl rests, uh, I can even, I can still AOE them with my own Wonder Girl. Okay, so the best case scenario is 5 energy for 18 point. The realistic one is 5 energy for uh, 9 plus 6, it's 15. Okay, and the best scenario is to go for 5 energy for 12 plus 4, which is 16. So you gain just one point, you played safer, but you will win with 3 stars. So I'd rather remove uh, a buffed hero than just risk it. And it's not buffed, it's just bonus. Um, yeah, that's the issue. Uh, you have to consider that Clayface cannot clap uh, from uh, random attack. So Wonder Girl here will kill, um, will kill uh, Clayface. With a, with a lasso or Red Robin will kill with something but again you want to avoid uh, teams that 
that can make you lose even just one star. Losing one star is, so let's say you have two chance here. You have two energy uh, for 15 points, okay? Fine. So it's like uh, three energy per points. Points per energy, sorry, okay? If you reset this board, uh, let me see if I can beat someone here. Nope. So if I reset it, I will lose two energy and then I will find for a suitable target. And you lost two and you, then you go five energy for let's say 20 points or whatever. Okay. So I've lost two. Let's go over. Sure. Let's go over this. I think this is doable because I can go Clayface here, Wonder Girl, Red Robin, Atrocitus. So I will, let's say I beat this with three featured hero. And it's like five energy for 18 points, which is like seven energy for 18 points. But you have to consider that maybe because of that, I can even beat this one or I don't know, this is beatable, this is one-shotable. Because you kill Wonder Girl on turn one, then you go on Red Robin or Lar Freeze with your own Etrigan or whatever, and then you kill the others. There's no issue in beating this one. So you can just go over that, um, gaining way more, because 18 over five is better than 15 over five, way, way little bit over is 3.3, uh, point per energy and then you will start um, you know gaining from the fact that you refreshed and that's one thing to do the very best thing to do in this format for example let's check this one this is a pretty this is a bait team why this is a bait team because all have found that what I'm trying to explain to you now that the best way to play this game is not here this is the bait part of the game the best thing to play in this game is here you want to revenge as much as possible because here stars will not matter so if you go over here and you lose someone you will still gain three stars so let's say i can uh, beat this one i can beat this one with uh, Wonder, Girl, Wonder Girl, Clayface, uh, and two more. So let's go like... So what is Wonder Girl? So let's go Atrocitus, Constantine, and Wonder Girl. So... No, it's, uh, in, gear, it's in gear 5 too. I'm doing that on my alt account. So here... Uh, you will win this one. Uh, do you want me to p play with the, the alt account? Uh, this is the alt account. And as you can see, I won, I won, I won. And then I go over, I don't know. Batman, what sh crap do you have, Batman? Ah, my revenge board has gear 80 on my board. Um... Uh, so this this is horrible to avenge. It's real. It's 20k against my 10k. But when you find someone here that's beatable, you have to just score it and check it as much as you can. Because you will eventually find someone that you can beat. This 54 guy, I will probably be able to beat him. Sorry, um... Blue stacks is slow today. So this guy, I will probably be able to beat him. Uh, and thus, let's go over it. <coughs> so I just used one of my guys. Uh, just one bonus, which was Atrocitus, because it's the only one I bothered uh, level up and gain shards for.
So if I win this one, uh, even with one hero standing, I will be like spent one energy for five points, which is five points per energy, which is way better than the three the best case scenario when we three star the world with uh, with three guys. So let me put this smaller. Just give me a second. I will try and make it on screen. And uh, sorry. Okay, this should be on the screen. Okay, so as you can see, they are a lot of strengths up. I didn't proc once. Uh, the best thing to do here is to kill uh, Starfire, I suppose. So let's kill this. I have to kill Starfire soon enough. Uh, I missed. Okay, so let's go over. I shouldn't have played on auto. But again, uh, this is 5 points per energy. I just played randomly here. Um, if you play properly, you can win this one with uh, 5 points. And you spend just 1 energy, right? Uh, so, the, it's even better than 3-starring a fight on the proper board. Because if you 3-star with 4 bonus heroes, you will gain 20 points. 20, I was saying. Points uh, for 5 energy. Which is 4 points per energy. So, as you can see, just going with the... Um, one bonus hero is better than three starring an opponent on the other end. And as I said, uh, I don't have any good revenge that I can um, that I can go over. This one is doable if I pray properly. Probably, I don't auto it. So let's try and kill it. <clears throat> Let's extend this a little bit. Uh, mm, uh, from what I said, uh, there won't be. They didn't announce any kind of uh, siege for next month. So sorry, uh, was this one? Uh, I was messing with my. Uh, um, configuration uh, so uh, this one let's go over this 208, 208 let's go over the Al Jordan Atrocitus or maybe even even better we can go like this Siege is cool. Uh, as I said, it's horrible to buy that 2k energy. And uh, it's better to play revenge if you can, if you have affordable opponents, uh, than to play the normal siege, because it's more point per energy. Um, beside that, as I said, this is an alt account, uh, not skilled, not whatever. I was just trying to auto over everything here, just to showcase. Uh, if it's doable. So the very first thing that you want to kill here um, is um, Starfire and Power Girl. So I'd rather have my... I don't want to enrage Power Girl and... Um, let's try and kill uh, Star Sapphire. Uh, 
Yep, let's try and bring stars and wonder girl down. They have increased chance up on turn one because of uh, um, of here that shot. Uh, so you want to be able to not have them kill your guys on turn one, but that shot already uses first turn skill. Uh, Stars of Fire did, Wonder Girl did, so it's better if you just go over there and slow down your worst um, target. And you have two reds here, we are heavy blue, so I want to kill the reds. And I'd rather go over the weakest one, which is Alleguin Magister, and then do some kind of attack here and try and kill Wonder uh, Stars of Fire. And this will proc. Wonder Girl will probably die soon enough. So, because of that, I have my Wally West uh, being my best target for Alleguin Magister, and because he will um, gain some turn meter, I may end up even gaining some kind of benefit here. So, enraging everyone and calling them for an assist, if happens, will be more debuffs on them, more attack on them, and a way to win for me. So I have even removed the other uh, horrible um, red in the opposing team, and this is over. There's no way you are sorry for the game before. Uh, I just was, you know, uh, playing on auto and just randomly playing. So I just gained seven points for one energy, which is like way better than anything you can do uh, because you should have gained to gain the same thing you should have gained 35 points uh, in the normal one and you cannot reach 35 points from a single game and if you are able so let's remove this because it's clogging my screen um, so if you're um, sorry if let me check again yeah, uh, thank you for being on stream. And I was 68, I'm 60k rank now. So, bye bye, Major. I was saying, as I was saying, uh, revenging is the best part of the siege uh, because if you can do just with one uh, bonus hero, is way better than uh, going over uh, this part. And and that's the reason why. Owls are doing this. Constantine would have been a better leader, right? Uh, and they are not using him. Because th you they want to be attacked. They want to be beaten. So you will be on their board and they will be able to revenge. So the trick here is to find something that can three star can assure a three star win on your side without using any scary team. Because if it's scary, if you are using, let's say, uh, Constantine, Etrigan, Larfreeze, and uh, I don't know, someone else, no one will attack you because they will be scared of losing. So you have to find some bait team where they will think, oh, this guy is a retard, let's beat him. And, uh, and then you, you will just benefit the fact that you will lose three points from the attack and then you will gain... 11 from the revenge as you can see i've attacked uh all so many times and if you if you see here because sometimes you need to just beat them and you see him grim reaper did attack with this team which was like an easy win for wonder girl so you go like this with three bonus heroes and wonder girl and you just are done with that and that's it and then he, he will gain 11 points this is how this works and to be honest i would rather have changed it like losing didn't cost you anything and uh, revenge was not available like in the normal showdown um so as i said i'm rank 39 I don't care if I drop up to rank 600 or 800 because I will still be able to get him to L4 and I don't care about the first legendary point. My next one will be on the 4th. So.
So I don't know if there are any questions here. Uh, it's uh, 1 p.m. and I probably need to get some lunch or something. Uh, so mm, tell me if there's something you need or you want to see or whatever. And then we we'll go over it and eventually I will just call it quit. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, again, um, you know my account on Discord and um, y I will just be up for any kind of question here on Discord or on YouTube. So if you need anything, uh, just, just go over there, poke me and whatever. And um, I want to, as I said, uh, I've been... Um, a little bit uh, I don't want to say uh, any curse here I just was bothered by them going for these greedy siege things because it was like um, some kind of commercial suicide uh, so I'm thinking of uh, loosening my streaming here on DCL but all that said oh, it's on the, the other hand i will keep streaming until i can i don't know if i will buy the gems on next month i will probably not uh so until i have gems i will stream uh one thing that i i'm trying to experiment is going over mixer uh mixer is the um the alternative from microsoft to twitch uh it's cool because it's way faster of an interaction. It's like one second below. Before you say something, I will read it. And I even did a stream yesterday with my two friends, Jazz and Keiko, and we were playing uh, Hearthstone. We were playing together the Puzzle Lab. Uh, so if you go over there, it's in Italian uh, because we were just the three of us. It was like an experiment. Um, if you want to go there, and uh, I will probably stream this yell here and Earthstone over there, or I will probably mix up things. So in the next days, if you get some kind of um, of alert for the stream, uh, and you see Earthstone, uh, maybe just come by and say hi. Uh, if you are just interested in this yell, uh, yeah, uh, I think you will be. Um, Deluded because again, this is the Dulot experience. This is not the DCL experience. So I will start playing on stream uh, some other games until they fix it. Uh, so uh, as I said, I will on Airstone. I was uh, going for Legend the very first months of his uh, release. So it's like two years ago, and then I didn't care at all. Uh, it was like just playing for fun and then all my friends uh, stopped playing and I just know what I play just for the daily but because of this energy thingy here I'm considering to go back there maybe even uh, grind it on stream for legend I never went for it because you know work and time uh, after that I don't know what will happen to Twitch or uh, Mixer or YouTube or whatever I will keep uploading stuff and if you checked on uh, on YouTube, uh, me and Michael are going over this series of one versus one uh, avenge battles, and um, we have moved. We have done like a, a three four days of two versus two, and then we moved to a three versus three. So this is um, what we are going to, and uh, yeah. So uh, there will be a new playlist on YouTube with uh, three versus three with John, uh, with uh, sorry with uh, Chrome. Um, 
it will be like the one that's right now where I upload videos and Michael answers uh, replies in the video with his own um, video response and then will be a playlist with everything in there and I will probably link my and his video in that uh, beside that I will be on stream tomorrow let's say a couple of hours from now uh, in 24 hours so I hope to catch you all tomorrow I will be off to lunch uh, follow on mixer if you want uh, as I said I, I don't know if I want to move the whole thing over there or keep doing this uh, mixer is pretty cool for the uh, the response time which are pretty low but I suppose that let's say in uh, three to five months Twitch will be on par so it seems like moving all my viewership there and going back here is just stupid so I don't know what I will do I will probably just uh, you know split the stream and then we'll understand we will see from there so uh, thank you for being here um, hope you enjoyed the White Lantern Sinestro event hope you enjoyed the uh, instructional stuff on the Siege event uh, I hope that you get where you want in the Siege event and you get enough for your L1, 2 or 5 uh, Atrocitus and I'll see you tomorrow uh, in a couple of hours from now bye bye ciao